It was just announced this afternoon MLB has canceled spring training games through March 4th due to the lockout. But there are still plenty of stories in baseball right now, like Barry Bonds not making it into the Hall of Fame in his final year on the ballot. It's been a hot debate, but Cronkite News reporter Michael Garofa found plenty of support for the former Sun Devil among his peers. Former Arizona State Sun Devil and seven-time MVP Barry Bonds is the all-time MLB home run leader with 762 career home runs. Bonds also holds the record for the most home runs hit in a single season at 73. Yet for the 10th and final year, the slugger was denied a spot in the Baseball Hall of Fame. Many voters cited steroid speculation for banning Bonds, but Bob Nightingale of USA Today believes that isn't a good enough excuse. We probably elected six or seven guys with strong steroid suspicions uh, in the past 10 years. It was clear from even his ASU days that Bonds was a special player. Everybody knew he was the uh, best player in the country and the, uh, uh, that he was going to be the number one draft pick or number, you know, number two draft pick, but everybody knew how special he was. Well, obviously, I support Barry. He's a Sun Devil here, and, and we, we want to see him there. The guy dominated his era. Um, you know, whatever happened during that era, um, you know, uh, everybody can speculate on that. Former Major League reliever Joe Borowski spent 12 years in the majors and faced Bond six times throughout his career, even managing to strike him out twice. I took a little pride in, guess what? I was playing against guys who were using stuff to help their performance, and I was still able to perform at a high level against them. The biggest argument for those that believe Bonds deserves it are his career numbers before the steroid speculation. If you look back at his career, he was hitting over 300. He was stealing a ton of bases. He was the first 400-400 guy. So he was definitely a Hall of Famer before that. He would have been the Hall of Fame if he had stopped playing in 99-2000. While Bonds' time on the ballot is up, he could still make it into the Hall of Fame through what's called the Today's Game ballot in December. In Phoenix, Michael Garafa, Cronkite News.